Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the class. How are you all? Fine? Great. I'm also fine. So, are you ready for today's English class? Good. I hope everyone is sitting with their all the necessary materials, aren't you? All right. So, do you remember what we did in our previous class? Yes, we discussed on lesson 14, unit 14, isn't it? Likes and dislikes. And there, what did we read? Yes, we read about the shopping experience of different people, isn't it? Okay, so today in our class, we are going to discuss pronunciation and grammar one of unit 14 likes our likes and dislikes okay today we shall deal with pronunciation and grammar one all right okay so first of all pronunciation here are some words which have been taken from the text reading one okay and now today we are going to practice the pronunciation of these words. Are you ready? All right, so let's go. So the first word is cheaper. Cheaper. What's that? Cheaper. Say with me. Cheaper. Yes. The next word weekend. Weekend. Say weekend. Okay, next is offers. Offers. Say offers. Say with me, all of you. Offers. Okay, so the next word is reasonable. Reasonable. Say reasonable. Say again. Yes, reasonable. Okay, so the next one is nightmare. Nightmare. Say nightmare. Say again. Yes, nightmare. It means bad dream. Okay, nightmare means bad dream. Okay, then the next word is prices. Prices. Say prices. Say again. Yes, prices. Okay, so the next word special. is special. Special. What's that? Special. Say again. Special. Okay. And the last one is? Bargains. Bargains. Say. Bargains. Say again. Yes. Bargains. Okay. Let's once again repeat the word. This one is? Yes. Cheaper. Not R. Okay. The last R is? Raw sound is silent. So say cheaper. Yeah. Okay. So the next word, what is this? Weekend. Say weekend. Okay. And this one? Yes. Offers. What's that? Offers. Okay. So what is this word? Very good. Reasonable. What's that? Reasonable. This one, which word is this? How do you pronounce it? Yeah, nightmare. What's that? Nightmare. And this one? Yes, prices. That's prices. And this one? Facial. Very good. Say again. Facial. And what about this word? Bargains. Say, bargains. Okay, so we did that. All right, so we learned the pronunciation of these words. Okay, we have already discussed their meanings while dealing with reading one, isn't it? So now we have practiced the pronunciation also. Now let's move ahead. So here I have got a short poem about likes and 
dislikes. Okay, we have been discussing about our likes and dislikes, isn't it? So, I have got a poem for you by Josie Whitehead and let's recite it. Okay, I will read and you people follow me. Okay, all right. I like pizza for my tea. I like swimming in the sea. Say, yes. I like pizza for my tea. I like swimming in the sea. I like chocolate and ice cream, but I don't like to hear you scream. Okay, good. I like milk and lemonade. I like digging with my spade. I like milk and lemonade. I like digging with my spade. I like apples also pears, but I don't like falling down the stairs. Okay. I like my computer games. I like things with funny names. I like my computer games. I like things with funny names. I've told you of the things I like and now I am off to ride my bike. Yes, we recited the poem. So, can you do it by yourself? Can you read it by yourself? Okay, let's read once again, alright? And then it's, it's your turn, okay? I like pizza for my tea. I like swimming in the sea. I like chocolate and ice cream, but I don't like to hear you scream. I like milk and lemonade. I like digging with my spade. I like apples also pears, but I don't like falling down the stairs. I like my computer games. I like things with funny names. I've told you of the things I like and now I'm off to ride my bike. Okay, so we did that. So here you see the words written in red letters. Okay, so they saw the likes, what the poet like and what the poet doesn't like. Okay, you see the poet likes pizza, yeah, and he likes to swim, he likes chocolate, but he don't like to hear somebody scream. Scream means to shout with loud noise, isn't it? Chichanu. The poet doesn't like anybody screaming. Okay. Similarly, what is he saying? I like milk and lemonade. Lemonade, you understand? Juice? Okay. I like digging with my spade. Do you people love farming? Do you plant crops or any plants around your house? In your kitchen garden? Do you? Well, that's really fun. You must try. Okay. So, the boy likes that. I like apples also pears. What fruits do you like? Tell me. Grapes, okay. Others? Watermelon, very good. Yes. Don't you like mangoes? You do, okay. So mangoes are also very much delicious, isn't it? I don't like falling down the stairs. Well, nobody likes that, isn't it? Do you like falling down the stairs like a teddy bear? <laughs> okay, so you don't like falling down the stairs. Nobody likes that. Even the poet says that he doesn't like falling down the stairs. I like my computer games. So do you play games on computer? Are they fun? Yes, they are really fun games, isn't it? I like things with funny names. So, have you heard anything with funny name? Yes, that makes you laugh. Have you seen or have you heard of anything like that which has got a very funny name? 
yes they have they are there are different things yeah they are they just look uh, so funny so that makes us laugh that is so interesting isn't it so the poet is saying i have told you about the things i like and now i am off to ride my bike okay so this is the poem about expressing likes and dislikes okay now let's move to grammar 1 okay here before we actually begin to our grammar exercise given in the book let us see how to express likes and dislikes okay we have learned now the experience shopping experience of the people in reading one right now we need to know how can we express our likes and dislikes isn't it there are many things that we like doing and many other things that we hate doing so if you hate that how will you say it how will you express it okay so first of all likes what are the words what are the expressions that helps us to express about our likes thumbs up yes we did last time in reading one yeah the things we liked we gave a thumbs up yeah the things we don't like we gave a thumbs down do you remember that yes so today here we are going to discuss what are the other expressions we can use to express our likes isn't it okay the first one the very general one is i like i like playing i like jumping i like reading books isn't it i like swimming i like eating yeah similarly we can also say i love like the uh, priti said uh, you know in that in, in reading one yeah they said i love shopping you can say i love shopping i love swimming yeah i love running i love jogging i love making fun with friends having fun with friends okay so in place of i like you can also say i love okay likewise you can also say i enjoy i enjoy reading books i enjoy playing with toys i enjoy going out with my family isn't it so likewise you can also say i'm crazy about i'm crazy about traveling i'm crazy about eating pizza isn't it i'm crazy about shopping i'm crazy about riding my bike okay and likewise you can also say i'm mad about i'm mad about hiking do you people go hiking okay you're too young to do that okay so i'm mad about hiking i'm mad about cycling yes i'm mad about swimming in the summer do you do swimming in the winter also <laughs> you don't yes because the water is too cold to get in isn't it so you can use you can say i like i love yeah i enjoy i'm crazy about or i'm mad about so you can use this different expression to express your likes okay likewise what if you do dislike you don't like to do that thing how do you say that okay the first one is like we read in the poem just now i don't like i don't like swimming i don't like crying i don't like shouting yeah so in place of i don't like you can also say i hate i hate going into the crowd i hate going to the market i hate playing in the sun okay i hate i hate doing this doing that okay 
I dislike. I dislike working in the farm. I dislike making fun of my friends. I dislike people screaming. Okay. Likewise, you can also say I can't stand. Means I can't stand walking in the sun. I can't stand shouting. Okay. Likewise, you can also say I can't bear. Yeah. I can't take it on. Means you can say I can't bear people screaming. I can't bear going into the heavy traffic. I can't bear washing utensils. Do your mother make you wash utensils? Your dishes? Do you wash that? Do you enjoy it? You should. You should sometimes help your mother, isn't it? Okay. So, these are the expressions you can use to express your dislikes. And here, these are the expressions you should use to express your like. So, what is the structure we have learnt? See there? I like, okay, or love, or you can also say enjoy. Plus, what do you have to use? Which form of the verb? Okay. You have to use ing form of the verb. Okay? Always. Whenever you are using the expression like this, you have to use ing form of the verb. I love playing. For example, you can say, I love playing. You see, love plus ing form of the verb. Okay, you should use ing form of the verb that is called present participle form. I love enjoy, I love playing with my toys. I love going for the movies. Okay, so use the expression like this and then which form of the verb? ing form of the verb. All right, so let's make one one sentence using those expressions. Okay, so I like, I like, very good, okay, I like playing football, all right. I love, I love dancing, wow, very good, yes, I love dancing. I enjoy, okay, yes, I enjoy eating pizza, wow, very good, see. My mouth is watering the name of pizza, isn't it? I enjoy eating pizza. Okay. I'm crazy about. See? Give me one example. I'm crazy about. Okay, yes. I'm crazy about skating. Have you ever done skating? Okay, that's really fun, isn't it? Yes, you can also say, I'm crazy about playing cricket. I'm crazy about playing video games, isn't it? Okay, so let's uh, just give me one example of I'm mad about. Yes, I'm mad about shopping, isn't it? I'm mad about buying new things for myself. Okay, very good, all right. Similarly, dislikes. So, for dislikes also, we have the same structure. You can say, I don't like. Okay. I don't like or I hate. Isn't it? I hate. I dislike. And then, what do you have to use again? ing form of the verb. Which form of the verb? ing form of the verb. I don't like, I hate, yes? And then after, I dislike, then which, verb, which form of the verb will you use? Yes, ing form of the verb. Okay, for example, 
let's say I don't like teasing animals. Okay, I don't like teasing animals. You see, don't like is the expression to express your dislike. And then which form of the verb should be used? Very good, yes. ing form of the verb. I don't like teasing animals. Do you like teasing animals? No, you shouldn't do that. Okay. So, you should use the expression of dislikes. And then which form of the verb? Good, yes. ing form of the verb. Now, let's just give me one example for each expressions. Come on. So, the first one is, I don't like. See? Okay, I don't like waking up early, isn't it? What time do you wake up? Okay, 6 o'clock. So, what if your mother sometimes make you, makes you wake up at 4.30? Do you like it? No? Yes. So, you say, I don't like waking up too early in the morning, isn't it? Okay. The next one, I hate. What do you hate? Very good. Yes. I hate going in the crowd. Yes. I hate going in the crowd. All right. Very good. You are going good. Now, tell me, give me one example for I dislike. See? Okay, I dislike staying alone in the room. Okay, very good. I dislike staying alone in the house. When nobody is there, you get bored, isn't it? Okay, I dislike staying alone. That's very good. Okay, now tell me, give me one example for I can't stand. See? Anything you can say of, of you don't like. Okay, very good. I can't stand screaming. Nobody loves that sound, isn't it? A screaming sound. I can't stand screaming. Okay. Now, what about this? I can't bear. Okay, tell me. Give me one example. Okay, I can't bear staying hungry. Isn't it? I can't bear staying hungry or I dislike staying hungry. Isn't it? Because the stomach doesn't help me. When it needs food, means it needs food, isn't it? Okay, so you should know the structures of how to express your likes and dislikes. So you should use this expression and then, yes, I in the form of the verb, okay? Likewise, here also you can use these expressions and then what do you have to use? Very good. ing form of the verb. That's very compulsory. You need not forget that. Okay. So, can you express your likes and dislikes now using those expressions? Well, you have just given me the example. Okay. Now, let's move to what is given in the book. Study the following sentences. Notice the highlighted words. Okay. So, see there. The first one, can you read this sentence? Say once, what is this? Yes, I like going to the park. I like going to the park. Okay, you see, like plus ing, go, ing, going, isn't it? I like going to the park. Next sentence, just read this sentence, what's given here? Okay, what's given here? C loves playing games. Yes, C loves playing games. So it's not always I. You can use C. You can use other subjects also like they, my mom, my dad, yeah, my sister, my friends. Subject can be anything. Okay, it's not always I. You can also express the likes and dislikes of your family members, isn't it? So see here, C loves playing games. Yeah. See there, loves plus ing because the subject is here. C we have to use, yeah, love plus s loves and then ing. 
You see, she loves playing games. Okay, that is the way of expressing her likes. Now, read this sentence. What is given here? Yes, they hate cleaning. Yeah, they hate cleaning. Do you like cleaning? Cleaning is good, but nobody likes to do the work, isn't it? So they hate cleaning. Okay, you can say, I hate cleaning. You hate cleaning. Huh? My sister hates cleaning. Okay, so this is the way of expressing dislike, isn't it? Okay, now come on, read this sentence. Yes, we love using the computer. Yes, we love using the computer. This is like or dislike? Good, this is like. We love using the computer. Okay, see, love plus using, ing form of the verb. Likewise, what is this sentence? Yes, she doesn't like studying. Well, that's not good, isn't it? That's really not good. You should love studying. That's good for you, your future. So, she doesn't like studying. This is a way of expressing dislike. Yes, she doesn't like studying. You see, doesn't like plus, yeah, studying, ing form of the verb. Okay, now read this last sentence. Yes, they hate going to the doctor. Yeah, they hate going to the doctor. This is the expression for dislikes. Do you love going to the doctor? No, that's not good, that's not fun because you don't go to the doctor when you are fit and fine. You go to the doctor when you are sick, isn't it? When you are feeling ill, when you have some health issues. So, that's really not fun because then they give you medicine, they may inject you. That's not good. I mean, good for treating you, but that's not really fun, not interesting. So, anyways, we have just learned how to express likes and dislikes, okay? Likes, whatever expression you are using for likes, you should use ing form of the verb and likewise, dislike, then again, ing form of the verb, you see here. All right, so now let's go to the exercises, okay? What is written here? Rewrite the following sentences as in the example. So, here is one example. You have to read this sentence and then you have to do the following things. Following, you have to fill up the following gaps. Like my sister dot 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 her bed. Not like make. Not like my sister not like make her bed way of expressing dislike so how is it written my sister doesn't like making her bed see my sister doesn't like making her bed so in this way so how can you write so let me just add a few words about how can you use do and does. We have discussed in our previous classes. Then also just let me remind you. If it is singular subject, yeah, you can use doesn't, okay? Doesn't plus expression of likes or dislike, doesn't like, okay? And if it is plural subject, then you should use don't, okay, don't plus like, okay, singular subject in use doesn't, if it is plural then use don't, okay, all right, so you see my sister is singular or plural, yes, sister means only one person, isn't it, so you, that is singular subject, so which expression you have to use, this one, doesn't like, you see that's used there, my sister doesn't like making her bed. Okay, so likewise, you have to do these sentences. Prabhu 
uh, enjoy play badminton. So, come and quickly do it and then we shall take our answers. Okay. So, have you finished that? Very good. So, tell me what did you write for here? Prabhu does badminton. Wow, very good. Yes, Prabhu enjoys playing badminton, isn't it? So, what did you write in here? Next sentence. I love dance. Good. Yes, I love dancing. All right. What about this? I blank space sunglasses. Yes, exactly. I hate wearing sunglasses. But you have to use when you are going out in the sun to protect your eyes, isn't it? I hate wearing sunglasses, okay? The next one is you dotted your homework, don't you? Dislike do. What did you write? Tell me. Wow, that's so smart of you. Yes, you dislike doing your homework. Dislike and then you have to add the ing in the verb dislike doing. Yes, exactly. Now, what about this? Ravi and Rupsa to the park like run. What did you write? Likes. No, that's plural subject. You see, Ravi and Rupsa. Two subjects, two persons. That means that is plural. So you have to use the plural form like, not likes. Okay. Ravi and Rupsa like running. Okay. If you add S or ES, the verb becomes singular. Okay. If you don't add anything, then the verb is plural. So you see like, not likes. Okay. Ravi and Rupsa like running through the park. Okay. What about this one? The dog touches the ground, enjoy scratch. Good, yes. The dog enjoys scratching. Okay. Now, what about this? My mother dotted the dishes, hate wash. Very good, yes. My mother hates washing dishes. Well, nobody enjoys that, isn't it? Okay, the next is I the dot early in the morning. Yes, we had discussed this previously. I don't like waking up early, isn't it? Well, we wake in our time, usual time, but waking up early is not a fun. Okay, next is Deepa the dot her friends. What did you write? Yes, very good. Yes, Deepa likes calling her friends. Okay, my dear students, you did well. Now, let's move to this one. Here is a short paragraph and there are blank spaces in between. You have been told, complete the following paragraph with love, like, hate, enjoy, prefer. Yeah? That is, these are the expressions for likes and dislikes we have already discussed. And then verb plus ing in the brackets. You see here are the verbs. Yeah, you have to use ing form of the verb. Okay, so come on, do it quickly and then we shall see the answers. Okay, so do it now, dear students. Okay, so have you done that? All right, so now tell me what's written here. Read this sentence. Yes, Manoj is a boy who has many hobbies and interests. Then he, what did you write here? Yes, exactly. He likes listening to pop music. He likes listening, likes listening to pop music. But he, Dot, dot, not like what? What have you written? Don't like? No, that's a singular subject. I've told you what to write. Yes, exactly. Doesn't like watching. Not don't like, okay? Doesn't like. Singular subject is here. 
he doesn't like watching watch plus ing watching he doesn't like watching tv programs or anything else then he likes going outside to play he dot dot enjoy play what did you write very good yes he enjoys playing he enjoys playing basketball but he yes he hates doing any exercise hates doing he is busy doing different things in his free time he yes loves visiting a museum or the zoo very good whenever he is at home he yes he prefers playing video games to doing household chores okay that means rather than doing the household things he prefers playing the video games all right so we have done that i hope now you can express your likes and dislikes can't you okay just you have to use the expressions of likes and dislikes and use what yes wow very good yes ing form of the verb in that way you can express your likes and dislikes okay so my dear students today we have learned how to express our likes and dislikes yeah and then we have also learned a very sweet poem on likes and dislikes isn't it and we have also learned the pronunciation of the difficult words from reading one okay so well that's all for today dear students see you all in the next class till then stay safe namaste